Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Oztron and we are back inside of Orbound. And for today's episode, we are going to try to make it to the automation tier three stage. That's kind of where we last left off in this episode. So I just loaded back into the game and I guess we start back in our quarters at the main Citadel every time we load the game. But we do have some stats here. So we have a 13,000 in gold. That's the amazed gold. I guess that's acquired gold. And then zero deaths. We haven't died at all yet, which is amazing. And we've made 52 kills and have not cooked any boars. So that is interesting stats. It looks like we might have another stat section here. So maybe when we unlock some other tier stages of the game, some additional stats will show on this other deal or this other screen or whatever the heck that is. I got like a little a boar leg or chicken turkey leg or something. So, all right, let's go in here and see. I guess we have to go all the way over here and we're just going to jump off. I don't know if we have fall damage. I guess not. And we'll just go to this crazy radar station looking thing with a million satellite dishes on it. And I'm not sure if these are like tasks that we need to do. So we have these excavation and we have a hunt for for Tom Drunk, the cave troll. And I don't know if these are things that we need to look for, like if this is a, a hint or something. But it seems kind of interesting. So I don't have to keep an eye out for that. And I guess we go here. Also, I wonder if I could just oh, I could just actually do probably load. So I could load it like this, I guess, but let's do this and just say load world, load our odds world three and start here. All right. So we just loaded into the game and let's choose our sword. Okay. So we need to upgrade to the next tier stage. So we're on automation. We've done automation one and two, and we need to go to three which will start giving us the actual real automation things with conveyor belts and things like that. So this will start allowing us to mine more resources and a lot more efficiently and quicker. So I've gone ahead and did a bit of grinding before this recording just to kind of get some supplies and materials because it kind of takes a while to do that. So one of the things that I did is I collected all of the coal that is over here so this one is now empty so this node has no more coal to give and then i happen to have one right here this one's out as well so we've collected everything in here so a quick way to just kind of get the resources here you just uh, come here and just take the little mining things back and and so now we need to go look for some more nodes which i, I think i have a good idea where some might be and another thing is I have been attacked, as you guys saw, I've made 52 kills. And that's because, like, man, every one minute or something, the base has, or whatever, our little base here has been getting attacked. So what I did is I spent like a thousand in gold to upgrade to our first defense stage. So, so that we're able to come over here and, what am I trying to do here? So what am I trying to show you? So what in the world's going on? Yeah, so the defense stage right here, I unlocked the first stage. So that gives us the little mini gun or the mini turrets. And so we have that. And then we also have these little traps. So this is kind of interesting. These are like a spike trap. I guess this goes on the floor. Can I place these down? So, oh, okay, right. I can put it kind of right there. I was curious if I could put it on the ground here. I had to put it on a platform like up there. Yeah, see? turns blue when I get up to the top and so I, apparently this goes onto the floor. I was able to put some over here like on this wall and then I put one over in this area and the reason I did that is just this was the area where I was being attacked a ton and it's kind of weird because the little goblins and some of the larger trolls were like coming up underneath the base right there so I made it come all the way down to see if that will stop them from like kind of glitching into the middle of the of the foundations and because it was making it hard to actually get to them and you know because they have that weird ability to be able to scale you know complete vertical <laughs> walls and stuff so hopefully this will kind of resolve that issue but i haven't seen any attacks since i put the little turrets up and 
seems to be okay for now. But we do have a little camp down that way, and then I think there's some others over here. But I know another location where I'm gonna put some more miners at. But yeah, so we're gonna see how these do on the next round of attacks. I might need to put a foundation under this one because if there's a little tiny gap right there, they will get under there. So if I can maybe squeeze that, which is kind of weird, but that's just one thing I've noticed. So I'm gonna just, I guess I can't get it under there. These kind, of, these things are kind of annoying with that sound. Uh, <laughs> uh, it would be nice if the devs like made them do that and then not like stop after a while. But let's go over here. So in the last episode, I found this node that was over in this area over here somewhere. Yeah, right there. And we, I cleared out this metal node right here. So I collected all the metal ores from this thing. So it's down to zero. And then I discovered right next to us was, oh, there's a boar. So man, I, I can't wait till I get better weapons. I found this one right next to us that I didn't even realize was there. So this is, was a uh, copper. And what we need to do is get more copper and finish smelting it because copper is the fastest way to kind of level up by purchasing the next tier levels. And the reason I say that is because you can sell, you can get copper pretty easily and then you can sell it for like 3000 gold. And it's pretty easy. It's only a one step, you know, sell thing after you smelt it down. And so that makes it pretty easy to get gold. And I'll kind of show you guys that here in a minute. It was something I kind of discovered in the beta version of the game. Somebody else coming? I hear somebody else. And this will allow us to kind of level up a little quicker to the next automation stage. And I've already collected a little bit of gold. So I think I have enough to actually get us there. But I want to find another node. So why can I get that? Who is coming? Somebody is sneaking around over here. Hello? Maybe it's just the boar. Oh, there's... Okay, that dude right there. Oh, man. See, watch him scale that complete vertical wall. He's going to scale it. Just watch. Where is he at? He knows. They're going to make their way up here somehow. And that guy's the hammer dude. So he's going to hurt me if I get hit. Which I probably need to eat a couple of turkey legs there. Get a little bit. Well, I don't know where he's at. Why didn't he not come after us? It's weird. Hello? Oh, no, don't fall down. Jeez. Oh, I hear him. Okay, I hear him somewhere. All right, so it looks like down in there we have a metal node of some sort. Maybe copper. I'm not sure. And then I'm pretty sure we have another one over here somewhere. It might be right there. That's just coal. Let's go look over in this area. See, I haven't explored too much over here. I just kind of like looked. Oh yeah, so we have, I don't know if that's metal or copper, but we have quite a few right there that are close by. So that's pretty handy. Oh, there's a goblin dude right there. He doesn't see us, so that's good. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I have some copper being smelted. So before I go over there, I want to make sure I have the tools. Oh, that dude did come up. See? He scaled all that. Oh no. Oh crap, crap. Oh, I got stuck on the little gym. You gotta watch out for his hammer. And the sword delay is ridiculous here. So I don't know if that's just part of this particular weapon, but man, it is, it's super like, like delayed. It's crazy. All right, come on, take all that. Did we get everything? T, take, oh yeah, it's got silver. Let's put the drop the bush. We can throw that in there and get that. Okay, good. So we'll grab the silver. Now let's get back up to now. I also noticed that they somehow destroyed one of my things here. So let's come here. Let's click on that. Oh, I don't have enough. What is that? What do I need? Why can I not put that down? That's odd. Weird. So one of them got destroyed because I had it going yeah. off in that direction, but that's okay. We'll we'll come back to that here in a minute. We we're totally full on our inventory, so we need to go clear that out, and might as well upgrade to the tier three, I guess, on the automation. 
and to see if our defenses hold up. Make sure our base doesn't get attacked. So far, seems to be okay. Okay, so back here on our little platform, which is our starter base. Now, a lot of guys end up building their bases like underground and stuff. I'm gonna do mine on top and I'll probably dig and start a downwards path kind of later because it's so hard to expand when you're under the ground because you have to spend all your time digging out the ground. I know we're like dwarves and we're supposed to be in the ground <laughs> building an underground cave system, but when I find like an open room or maybe under this what our obelisk thing or whatever this thing is right here, maybe we can do something with that or make that part of our base somehow. But I want to do that later. So we're going to start above ground for now just to make it easier to expand. So we come over here to our gold. We have lots of gold. Here's somebody. Oh, see, we got our weapons firing. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so that's working. So we had an attack just now. And we are good there. So we need to make sure that these guys are topped off with some coal. I'm going to fully load this guy up. And they take a lot of coal for ammunition. And let's make sure that we have these guys topped up too. And let's grab these also. I think some of these have fired at other things. And I want to get this one on a corner. Make sure it's all good. And then maybe this one right over here. I have another one right there. And then I don't know, do we need to put... This doesn't seem like... I guess that automatically refills with ammunition. It seems to shoot arrows or something like that. So I don't see that we have a way to refill this with ammunition. So that's good. I thought maybe we'd have to I keep giving it giving it the wood or something like that for arrows, but apparently it's infinite. I don't know. All right, let's go grab our gold. And I believe we need 5,000 in gold. So do we have enough room for that? So let's grab one, two, three. Oh, we don't. But let's go ahead and empty out our iron ores. Whoa, my mouse got stuck for a second. Okay, so we have copper here. So oh, I can't even collect all the copper. All right, let's do this <laughs> I'm out of inventory. Okay, so we'll come over here. I think we'll do the, the, the wood. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put our money back in here for a second. We need to unlock the, uh, I think it's like the bank or something like that. And that'll allow us to store our cash a little easier. All right, now let's grab all of that, switch that over to iron, and let's toss in all the iron that we have. And then we'll come over to this one. We'll yank out the copper from there, put in all the iron. Oh, we gotta switch it, switch it, and give it all the iron. Same thing with this one, and switch that to iron. I guess we have to take it out now, switch it to iron, put in that. Same thing with this one. Take out the copper, switch to iron, and we will smelt the rest of that down. And then that one has 51 iron, we'll collect that. And I have this one, another one, but it doesn't, I don't think that one has anything in it. No, no. Okay, there we go. All right. So now we can come back over and we can actually sell our copper. See, so you guys can see I've sold this amount of copper already and it gave us quite a bit of money so once i sell this you'll see it's that's worth three thousand so we'll sell all of that and we're going to sell all of that i don't have any more room for gold so we'll need to come over here let's store up all the gold see how easy this is to to do it just by mining i mean that's from one copper node and this will upgrade us quite a bit here in a bit. So let's uh, let's sell that. We're gonna sell that. Probably shouldn't have sold that. <laughs> I should have kept some so some copper. Dang it. Okay. Oh well. So now, just from that sale alone, we have one, two, three thousand three thirty. So we need a little bit more. So we need one, two. But now, just from 
that amount of mining. We got one, two, three, four, five, ten, thirteen, thirteen, eighty, eight, eighty-three. So that's how much gold that we have. And uh, we can come over here and upgrade with this dude. Now we can get to some real automation because that requires. I need to make 25 of those things. Dang it. Forgot about that. Okay, so we gotta make 25. Switch that over. Let's toss in 100 of those. And we will make some of these. And you can sell these too. And I think you get the same amount. I think you get like. No, actually, I think you get less. I think you get 2,500 for however many stacks of this. So we'll see. We'll get 25 of these here in a second. All right. So we got enough iron plates. So let's collect those and go over here to upgrade to automation three. And we are going to do this. And we should be able to unlock this now. All right. Yay. So now we have automation three. And we can make now fully automated conveyor belt systems. So. This will be the auto miner drill right here. So we've been using this guy. We're gonna start using this thing now and it'll, we'll be able to connect conveyor belts to it and then start piping that into various machines and stuff like that. And we also need to put a water system down and start getting some steam power too so that we can power all this stuff because it all runs off of steam, which means we need more copper. So we're probably gonna have to do copper the old fashioned way uh, because I actually sold it all, which wasn't the best idea. I knew I need you need to make sure you keep like a hundred copper, <laughs> and then that way you can do all this. But I accidentally sold it. So at any rate, yeah. So now we have that, and then we should be able to do the. We already did the cauldron, but I'm, we need to do the little cooking spit thing or whatever it's called, so that we can start cooking our boar meat. But. I don't remember where that's at. Let's see. Yeah, it's probably something we have to unlock. So under maybe farming. And yeah, there it is. Okay, so that is going to cost us a thousand. I don't know if I have a thousand. I don't. So let's go ahead and collect the rest of our gold. And I want to make a bank. Put down a bank. So I think that's going to be five thousand. Plus we need a banker, which is another thousand. So that's a thousand for the banker. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then we need the meat thing over here, the whatever, this spit roast thing. So we can buy this. There we go. And then we come over to the vault and we can buy the, or unlock the banking system here. And then we can unlock the large coin storage. So there's the grand and then there's the large one. The large one will do us okay for now so we'll unlock that one and otherwise it gets kind of annoying trying to store all of your gold and then a lot of the the orcs and goblin guys when they come up they'll start attacking your chest so i'm trying to keep that safe keep our gold safe so i think the best way to do that is by putting down the banker so now let's go here and we can do the banker which i think is over here man those things are so annoying where is the banker at is that that's the research station do we okay that is oh there's the vault oh there's the banker okay so we can put this dude down like over maybe over here somewhere like right there let's get him off i need to do this and i keep it snapped to the edge there there we go all right, so now we got banker dude. I put him in the wrong way. All right, let's do that again. Banker dude, right here, and let's line him up right on this little square. There we go. Nice and aligned. And then, oh look at that. There's a troll dude. I mean a goblin. Let's use our gun turrets to take him out. There he goes. Nice and quick. So any other guys coming to run after us now? I'm gonna end up expanding this too. I'm gonna have to cut down all these trees. So I'm gonna do that here in a bit. We're gonna probably put some walls up around this section over here. I'm not sure how wide I'm gonna go, but I think for our first floor, cause I'm gonna go up a few floors when we start doing the automation and then I'll probably go down. So I'll put a hole in the middle here with some stairs going down 
and we'll work our automation on the lower floors and the upper floors, I think. We'll have this be like our mid entrance way. So now let's put some vaults down. Let's see, where is the vault? There it is. We're going to do a large one right there, but we need stone. So let me go grab some stone in just one second. Okay, I got some stone, but then an orc came after me. I think he's running up. Oh, he's coming up over the stairs or Mr. Vertical. Now let's see if this turret thing will take him out. Oh, nice. Okay, good job. All right, good. So now I can take his stuff. Give me your, your stuff. There we go. Just trying to give me some, some dang stone. Okay, so now we come over here. I think I have enough now. There we go. So we're going to put that guy. I guess. Does it go below or? Kind of weird. Yeah, right there. And I need more stone. Let me get more stone. I want to put a couple of these in. Okay. I think I got enough stone. Let's put that guy right there. So got, I don't know why they're glitched into the ground like that. Are they supposed to be like that? I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing that. But it might be. I'll oh, see that's selecting the foundation. Oh no, there we go. There, let's collect that. Let's do this again. Oop, what? Why does it keep doing that? Zoom. That's weird. Sometimes you hit escape and it doesn't go back out. I think there's still a few little bugs left over from the demo in this thing. All right, so select this. Oh, not the little guy. Select the big one. And then, so see, you can put it on top or it seems like you can kind of like put it down below. So I think it's supposed to go on top like that. And then we can put in three of those. And then this will allow us to store our money. So basically we'll come over here Welcome. and we'll give him our money. So we'll deposit all from inventory and that should pile it up right there. But that's a tiny little pile. We have more gold than that. So we need to come grab our other gold. So that frees up a chest that we can use for other stuff. And then once, every time we get gold, we can put it over here. And then when we How buy something, automatically take it out of the uh, the bank so now that's a huge pile so that'll we'll need a bunch of piles because the next tier that we need to get to which is right here will be tier four in tier four we need seventy five thousand on the gold so that's quite a bit but now up in the top of our screen it now says we have seven thousand three hundred gold so that is good. Now, is there anything that we need to see about purchasing? What about defenses? We have a few other automated defenses here. So these are actually automated. So that could be pretty handy coming up and especially protecting our stuff. So I might want to upgrade to that because it seems like we're going through different rounds of being attacked. We have elevators and a little rail network. Okay. And then also want to make sure we can get to the next level of explosives, like the little demo charges here. And they'll clear out a lot of room. The mountain vaporizer sounds fun. I haven't ever played with that yet. So now let's see, let's look at the other stuff. Um, we need to put the fire spit thing down. So where is that at? That is under food right here. Here we go. Then we have a campfire, lights up the base. That's handy, that requires coal. Do I not have any coal? Uh, it requires, what does it require? Oh, it's more stone, golly. How am I using up my stone so fast? I don't have any stone over here, but let's see what we need to do the little smoky grill thing here. All right, we need more stone. Let me go grab some stone, goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so just was collecting some stone <laughs> um, and got attacked, but also found a copper deposit. So we're gonna make use of that and get some drills on this thing. So let's put our drills right here. We'll get these little guys on for now. What do I need? I'm out of copper. Oh my gosh, I gotta mine the copper. And that's not how I want to do it. So. Let me, let's do this. I'm gonna grab some, some stone real quick 
and then we'll come back to that copper node back up here so now i think we can make our little food thing so let's put this down there we go so should i try to cram this over here with all the other food stuff does it fit right there i'm gonna put that maybe i don't really know where to put it i think maybe we'll just we're just gonna stack it like right there and then that way we can put that guy on and start it up i guess do we need to add coal to this thing or is it just hmm is it done how do we know when it's done just we let it go for a little bit and they'll tell us so i didn't have to add anything to it so i guess it's just automatic or something okay what was the other thing we needed a fire so we can do a fire pit also so let's put that in the middle and maybe we'll light up the area a little it's it pretty dark up on top so oh it's done already right ah oh, look at that four meat holy cow okay let's add a couple of those here you might want to make a couple of these do i have enough to make a couple all right there we go so that way i'll have tons of meat right where did the meat yeah there it is 17 curious to see how that goes i'll probably end up moving those but for now it's okay right, let's add the leather over here and those things need to clear up some inventory grab a couple of these dudes put that on so double tap and that starts that going and then let's see i need some copper so i don't need much i don't have any copper here let's grab grab that out let's grab that get all of our iron uh, okay that's empty all right and what i'll do is we can come over here and i think we can buy back our copper so if i want to buy back a little bit yeah, it's just, it looks like it's the same price to buy it back. So I need 3,000 gold. Oh, I have it. I don't have to. I forgot to put it in to the bank. So if I wanted to buy 100 copper, I should be able to buy it back, right? There it goes. Okay, I just bought it back. Nice. Okay. So now we're down to 4,000 gold. But now I can put the miners on that little copper thing. Copper node that we just found so let's go here there and now we have enough materials to make to put down over here which is pretty close by it's like right there you guys can see i put a little torch right there so these little nodes are sometimes on just like right on the surface all right so now let's put this we'll put a couple of these on here get a couple of these going why do i not have enough i need more I need more cogs oh let's Oh my gosh, these little dudes. What are you doing, buddy? Wait till I get my axe. Because once you get the axe, then these guys are like a one-hit deal. Okay, so I need to put some coal in there, and we need to turn this sucker on. There we go. And so while that's cooking away over there, let's go make some cog wheels so that we have... So that we have some more cogs to make minor things with and I don't know how many we need to make the automation thing because we're gonna need to set that up too so let's see the automation one we need copper plates we need lots of copper and lots of cogs so we need 15 cog gears and a bunch of plates so we can make the plates over here let's put in half so we can we have to select it. Alright, so let's put in half. Why is that not going in? What does that take? That takes... Two of those. Why is that not going in there? That's weird. I selected it. Oh, I need to take the plates out. That's why. Alright. So I need to take the plates out. They should put a little message that says remove plates. And then we'll put in half. Keep half for copper. 
And that will, we also need to make cog gears. So we probably need another one of these dudes. Just a couple of these guys for starting off and get this guy making cogs. So we'll put in a bunch of iron and tell him to make the cogs. But why is he not making cogs? All right, throw some money in there, I guess. I thought it would take the gold coins out of our we must keep out of our inventory, out of our vault. I mean, so Welcome. all right. So he's making the copper plates. He's making the cogs, and then what did we need to? Oh, we need some coal. So do I have any coal? Oh, I do have coal. Let's go see. I think that node is empty. We need to find another coal node and we can go back and do that here in a minute um oh yeah i need the cogs that's what i was looking How for so there we go we need 10 Farewell, cogs and then we can come over here and put down another little mining drill over here and if you just middle click on this guy right here it'll just automatically grab another one and whenever it turns blue you can put another one down so we got three of them going so let's throw some coal in there turn that sucker on throw some coal in there turn that sucker on and this guy has a thousand on the deposits so that is good so as long as we use the miner we'll get a full hundred copper out of this thing but if we use our pickaxe then we get like 20 or something like that not very not very much so once we get enough copper together and smelt that down then we'll be able to make the more advanced automation grill which is the next thing and so let's let me go explore i want to explore a little bit and see if i can find some nodes real close by or you know see how far we need to go because i know there where some are but we also have some caves right below us so let me go venture down in these areas and see what I can find. So I have explored our little area below our base and I think I know why we keep getting attacked it's because we have a couple of little outposts down here for like for the the goblins and the big orcs so we actually have some some of the I don't know what they're called but there's like two different types of orcs I guess there's like a normal orc that we've been fighting and of course the little goblin guys and then there's like a giant orc that is at one of the little base camps over here so i'll show you guys that here in a second but this little area so right there is that obelisk thing that's right by our base and our base is just like right up there so we're actually really close and what we have over here is we have a huge little or not little a huge <laughs> copper coal node here so this is fifty thousand as far as how many units of Coal that has and when this one has 10,000 of copper but over here we follow this little cord my little tether that we have uh, we have two big dudes right there that we need to take care of and then right there is another thing of copper or metal and then it looks like we have two more either coal or metal or copper I can't really tell at this distance what those are but it, we have a few so there's one there there's one over there it might be two over there and then two giant ones right there so we have enough to get pretty far as far as to the next tier level so what i want to do is we need to kind of make a little little minor little stair path here so that we can get down and up over in this area this might be the first time i die so we're going to kind of sneak in see if we can aggro just a couple of these guys because i don't i can't take on all these dudes at once so Let's see if we can get just these two guys. There we go. We got them over here. Make sure it's just these guys. And then we'll just whack at those guys. Do a jump. Jump whack. Jump whack. Jump. We got them fighting each other now. And then we'll take out the weakest dude. Whack. Very nice. Okay. And then get this dude there. And take all his stuff. And we got... A giant orc guy there and one over here he's the mace guy all right so we got him coming oh my god dang that dude just came out of nowhere i didn't mean to take on two of these dudes that is not what i wanted to jump 
Jump whack, jump whack, jump whack. Oh, there he goes. All right, yeah. Fight each other. Oh, oh, crap. No, 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 no. Fight each other. Fight each other. <laughs> Fight each other. <laughs> jump whack. Ow, ow. Jump back. Ah, jump. Oh, God. Okay, heal time. Heal, heal. I will take that, please, for thousand. All right, take that. Okay, grab that. You give me your stuff. You give me your stuff. We got some gold out of there. Oof. Can't believe where that guy came from. Okay, so we took care of those little guys, wherever the heck they are, right there. We got these two guys, and then we got one more dude over here. We have to take care of. Anybody else hanging around? Oh my gosh! Come on, dude. He's got like a crazy hammer. So yeah, he's just ah, man. All right, spin around, circle. Ow, ow. Why is he so much better? Ah. All right, spin, jump, spin, jump. Uh, spin, jump, spin, jump. Okay. Oh, ow, 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 ow. All right. Come on. Oh. All right. So grab your stuff. Holy mackerel. Okay. So whoa. Watch out, I almost fell down. My little sandals. All right, so we got his stuff. All right, so now we have access to this copper node. Oh, we got a little runt coming in over here. I gotta get different weapons. That's gonna be the next thing. I wanna tap into one of these copper deals over here, or maybe the one that we have up by our base. And we're gonna do our next upgrade is going to be the next tier levels of weapons. So I really need a more powerful weapon. I think the axe that you can get does a lot more damage. All right, so we have that node there, and then we want to go check out what's over here. Or some giant dude. Oh my gosh, there's a big base guy. Okay, so didn't expect that, but we're gonna need that. We need to upgrade our weapons first. But look at all this over there. So we got those giant things, and then we have this guy right here. So let's go over here and look at what this thing is. Is that coal? Stone? Oh. Okay, I've not seen a stone node before. That's new. All right. How about over here? Whoa, that is huge. Okay, that looks like that's copper. So we'll have to come back and tap into that. So let's go back up to the top. Give me a second, I'll be up there in a second. All right, guys, so we're back on the base now here in a little flat ground <laughs> base. I've been cooking up some boars, so we'll do that. Get these guys. And then let's see if we can upgrade our weapon. Let me go to the next level of weapons here. So is that under crafting? I think it is. Okay, yeah, level two. So I think this dwarv dwarvish axe. And what do we need? We need 5,000 and we need 20,000 gold. Oh, we don't have 5,000. What can I sell? Get us 5,000 so that I can upgrade. I have 25 copper and I'm smelting some copper over here. So if we can just get a little bit more copper, and we can sell this, I think, for a little bit of gold. What do we get? We get a thousand out of that. That will get us to 5,000. So let's sell that back to that dude. Come over here and upgrade this to level two, which I think gives us some new things to unlock as far as using our detector. So let's go ahead and unlock that. Now we're on level two. And we can come over here to this thing. And we should go to upgrade station two. Oh my gosh, we have to, it takes these resources. Can we do that now? Let's see, iron pods. Okay. Bam. All right, so now we can get a stronger pick, pickaxe. Oh, this will allow us to mine the other type of material. So let's craft that. And then this is the Dwarvish Axe. And this is the Mace. I don't know, like, how do I know which is stronger? Why chop wood when you could chop orcs? Okay, I don't know if we can use this to chop wood, though. And this is the Mace. So maybe we'll just get axe it doesn't tell me how much damage it does does it all right i guess we'll just get the axe okay 
And then I guess we can get the mace later, but it seems like the axe might be more universal. So let's go ahead and swap the axe with our sword. Okay, here it is. So the sword does 25 damage, and that does 35 damage. An axe for foes, not trees. So we can't use that on trees. Okay, what is the mace? I mean, should we be using the mace? Oh, we have more stuff here. A backpack? Oh, heck yeah, 30 of those? We got 30 of those, right? We got 41. Okay. So, let's do a backpack. Not enough materials. Or, oh, did I hit that twice? Alright, let's see if we can make this. Now, let's look at what... Yeah, see, that does 50 damage. Okay, so that's what we need. And we can't use the axe for anything. So we're going to just chunk those over here. We have the iron pickaxe, which we can replace that with. And then... I don't know, can we get a better axe? I mean, is it, is that, is that a thing? Now, do we put this on our slot? Oh, look at that. Oh, that gives us quite a bit more space. We got two more ro rows, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is new too. I don't remember that being in the demo either. So there's something, maybe a helmet we can get. That'd be cool. All right, I wish there was a third person so we knew what our character looked like. But then we have a barrel, blow up your enemies. That requires iron powder. Okay, we haven't quite got there to the to that stage yet. And then we have the navigator level two. And that will point you directly to so we could upgrade. Oh, we need all of that. We need copper. All those things. Okay, so we'll do that later. And then this we haven't upgraded yet. Okay. Yeah. Alright. We haven't checked on this guy in a while, so I think I've cleared out everything on this beginning stage and then we have mining have we done anything okay we haven't collected these items yet well no i i have i need 20 and 50 of those do you have 50 of those stuffed somewhere i did okay we'll have to do that well I, I wish it would it would know that i had that <laughs> And then this is not going to be until later. We need to make 200 of those things. And then here's combat. Anything in a combat. So we'll have to get these large orc skulls. All right, I know I have enough of the regular orc skulls. I've completed this. No, oh, we have to put down 10 of those. I just need one more, one more of these guys and then we'll be able to upgrade that. I'm gonna put this over here to protect our gold that should satisfy that now we just got a thousand gold and there we are and then the structure things we haven't done yet okay so we've upgraded our weapons let's throw in all of our gold here i guess i guess it automatically went into there didn't it it's weird i, I just i thought i just got a thousand gold from this but all right, so next, yeah, so next we need to unlock these things. That's 2,000, that's 500. Already unlocked. We need to unlock that for copper, but it's pretty easy to find copper so far, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's go over here and get our copper from this node. I want to tap out this node first so that we have enough to make the larger mining rig here. So let's grab this. So I have cleared out the other copper node that was over there on the surface. And we are smelting those right now as we speak. And the next thing, we need to get steam going in this place. So I'm kind of making some pipes over here. I think. I thought I was. Am I not making pipes? Oh, I made those. I made the plates. All right. We need to make some pipes. All right. Let's make the pipes. There we go. And then this guy is making those. I think we need to make a few more of those. So let's split that in there. Okay. And I went ahead and put a water pump over here. So we have the water pump and then we have the water splitter. 
And then we need to put a furnace thing or whatever it's called. What is that thing called? Where the heck is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, so the steam power, we need to put in a boiler. So we need five pipes. And I think we have enough of the other stuff. So let's see if we have the five pipes. Should. Okay, we have 11 of those. That should give us enough to make that. So we can come over here and make the boiler. And I'm going to have to move this stuff at some point. But I'm just going to put this next to here. Okay, we're going to do it like that. There we go. And now we need to make the little tubes. So from here, we need to make these guys. So we have to connect this thing to there. Okay, like that to, let's see, how does this work again? <laughs> uh, why is it, why is it connecting to that? I don't want it, I want it to connect, we need it to connect to there. Yeah, wait, come on, there it goes. And then it needs to connect to there. There we go. And then this guy, we need to put in coal, which we're going to have to. So that's starting to pump water. I don't know if we need to pump now, so we're going to turn it off. Because I don't have anything for it to do. And while we're waiting for the sun to come up, let's see if we can get copper piped in over here. So let's take copper. And how does this work? Oh, the copper goes there. So let's take the pipe. Water pipe has to come in. And then we should be able to just plummet to there. So now the boiler has has the ability to make steam. We're going to need the steam to power our devices, our other machines. So it's real important. Okay. So that's our water splitter. And this will be our steam. The steam will need to come into a steam splitter. So we're just going to put this in kind of like right there, I guess. And this is going to start getting messy. So I'm going to move all this. I just want to get the basic setup going. And then I guess I'll tap into that that rock over there, wherever it's at. See, we can see where this is at. So look what I did. I put some stairs over here and we can actually see right down there. So that is coal. So we're gonna need to tap into there and then we're gonna need to tap into the stone and the other ores that are down there too. So we're gonna start all of that. And I don't know exactly, I think, I think I'm gonna put all of our steam and water stuff on one level and then all of our automation stuff on another level. That way I can just run the pipes like straight up to the floor. I think that will work. I don't know. I'm just trying to be a little bit more organized than I was in the demo when I played this. So that should be able to connect to there. So now we have steam. I think we have to add coal to here. So we're going to add half of our coal and toggle it off. For now so it doesn't use it up because we're going to have to automate this at some point uh, so this will get us started and and then once we have that going and we can make the other device oh, here help. so let's grab the pipes we have enough of those well, well, and this guy well, should have well. made well he made those i was hoping he'd make some cogs right we need to make cogs we have 34 of those, 14 of those. I don't have any iron, so we're gonna need to tap into an iron resource here pretty soon. So what I wanna do is make some stairs that go down from our platform right here. And this is gonna go straight down there. Now let's see how, what's the best way we can do that. Let's go right there. I'm just gonna do them out of wood, I think. And Let's do wooden stairs. Can I just can I just put it like right here? Because we could just aim it straight down, right? Like that. I feel like I kind of want to. Does it not snap onto the surface at all? Maybe we, maybe we have different kind of stairs. Let's see what do we have. Oh, we got wooden stairs, ladders, platforms. Oh, here we go. Wooden stair pillars, maybe? Will that snap onto the edge here? It does not. That does not snap onto these at all. Okay. How about can we do we need to build a foundation off of this? Like a wooden foundation? Oh god. 
Maybe we do it like that? That seems kind of janky. All right, let's try this. Let's, I'm going to put that there. And let's do stairs like this. Does that work? Can I? That kind of works. I guess that works. It's not really what I was thinking, but we'll put another set right there. We kind of have like a little landing in this spot. And then let's see, let's snap that. Can we? There we go. So we can just kind of do it like this. And then maybe put a landing down here, like right at the bottom of that. Is that, that's not snapped onto there. We need it to snap. So a large wooden tile. Okay, that is, a, that is weird. That is not what I'm looking for. What is that? Wooden tile. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. So we'll do it like that. Make a little platform. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So now we can do a little zigzag on the stairs. We'll copy that, put it maybe right here. Is that snapping into the right spot? I guess so. It seems kind of weird. All right, and then we need one of these little guys. All right, let's get it to go this way. Um, right, I'm going to try to, I don't know why I'm moving all my tools around. Okay. We need to take out this thing. So I got the stairs put in. So now we can try to go down here and see if we can mine up one of these giant nodes down over here. So we have coal right there. We have a copper one right there. Let's see if the bad dudes came back over here. Um, they did not. Okay, that's good. So that was copper. What is this one? Is this copper? That's copper as well. And then over here, I think we established that that was rock or stone, which we will need. The stone, and then what is this one? Oh gosh, that's huge. I like dudes way down there. So we're gonna need to make like a bridge or something. Oh, uh, I hear somebody coming after us. Oh yeah, we got a big dude. Big dude coming. All right, I got a new weapon. So we're gonna give us some space to run around in circles here. Come on, dude. Bam. Oh. And this is not any faster. Alright, come on. Definitely doing more damage, though. There we go. Nice. Now, I think there was a little guy coming up, too, so we need to watch out for him. There. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a big dude. Oh, shoot. Little dude. Alright. Should be two hits with this guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. Dang it. Oh, jeez. This is... Okay. My gosh. Oh, dude, there's another guy. Okay, I hear another guy over here, too. Oh, shoot. Get back. Get back. A little punk. Okay. Give me your stuff. So what we need to do here is I think we can build out platform like yay here need a smaller one I think so let's do let me get that to go kind of like right there it's not quite where I wanted it but whatever oh I think we ran out of wood all right so this is that that's iron finally I really needed some iron. It was bothering me that we couldn't find any iron. So this guy has 50,000 units too. 
So, okay, so let's go ahead and take our... Oh, I hear a guy coming. He's down there somewhere. So, all right, let's go yep. grab the copper and coal over here. So we're going to go on this other side that's nearest to the base. Yep. Yep. Right. I got to flatten that out somehow. All right, so that's a copper node. I should be able to put the automation unit on here. So let's grab this thing and go to automation drilling and we should be able to plug that sucker thing is massive okay all right so we can put that in right there attaches oh we got a we got a guy coming over hey there buddy yep see how that works that's just two hits on those guys now okay so we have that and we probably need to put a little weapon down here but I don't think I have enough coal to do that now we need to put the first set of conveyors so right here um, oh, conveyors to there what is that that needs iron ingots oh my gosh we're gonna have to go set the other guys okay so we're, we don't have the ability to make iron ingots to there yet but I think we can put the steam pipe connection to there and we should be able to just run that right up here in kind of an organized janky way and what i'll do is why is it stuck over there i guess it has a limit on how far it can go so it has a limit or maybe that's how many i have let's see can i Oh no, I think it's, I think it has a max limit that it goes. All right, so we're gonna like plug that in like this. We can kind of turn it to go that way and snap that in over here. And then I think we'll have that come up right there. And then over to, now does Alt, do we, if, okay, Alt makes a straight line. So that's nice, then we can, uh, snap it let's see snap it so if we tap alt oh if we oh that's weird okay alt does weird things okay so we'll just run it into there like that and then we should be able to power that thing but we need to get a conveyor belt but we need iron and i'm totally out of iron so we're going to have to mine it manually do we have fall damage i guess not I guess we don't. I guess our big flip-flops help us out on fall damage. So right over there, we have the iron. And let's go ahead and look over at this little ridge. Oh, oh, there's a big guy over here. Okay, there's another node right there. Oh, shoot. Get up here. Okay. So that is a base right there. We're going to have to take out... Yeah, there he is. So there's a big guy right there. And I don't know if that's... Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> oh, oh, we do take fall damage. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to fall down, dang it. Now I'm stuck way down here. Ah, oh, crap. Let's get one whack on that guy. All right, I don't want to aggro the big guy just yet. I'm not ready to take on that dude. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God, we're falling deeper and deeper. Uh... How can I get out the heck out of here? Or somebody attacks me. We need to go up there. Okay, let's maybe we'll just make some stairs real quick. Can we do that? Do I have enough wood to do stairs? Where are the stairs? Okay, let's just do these. And can I get them to go like right here maybe? Go. Alright. That is kind of working. Okay. So now we need this guy right there. There we go. Okay. Yep. Shoo. 
Man, I was not ready to fall way down there. I'm just trying to get over here to this thing. So I can put these right there, can't I? There we go. Make a little platform around this thing. All right. So got this all sorted out. So now let's put our miners in right here. And we'll just... Oh, shoot. I need iron ingots. Dang it. Okay. So I've been kind of busy... I had to figure out a few things because the resources were kind of low for the iron ore so i've been having to mine it manually and had to go dig some up and then i added a auto miner over there on that iron node and got a conveyor belt connected but it is not finished hooked up yet so we gotta get some steam to this thing so what we need to do is I have these little guys running over here to give us some coal. So we're going to yank that out and that should auto fill itself. And what we need to do is we need to come back up to the top. We need to start producing some steam and some water. So let's come over here. I connected that conveyor belt all the way over there with, <laughs> with the uh, iron ingots. And into this is a storage unit. It's ginormous. And so this is our boiler. So we need to add coal. That has coal added to it. So we're gonna add some more and we're gonna to toggle that on, but it doesn't have any water. So this is our water pump and we should be able to add some coal to here. I'm just gonna max that out and then we're gonna to toggle this on. And then that should start pumping water into here, into the splitter. And so that's doing two, how many, how many units of water? I don't really, that's a hundred maybe? So water pressure is 100, pressure usage is used by 10 machines. Is that what that means? We can have 10 machines connected to one water pump? I'm not really sure what that means. And then this is steam. And so it is producing steam. I'm pretty sure we have water activated. And so now we should be able to connect this pipe that's going all the way down. So let's go connect this pipe up. This has been kind of a lot of work. Uh, this initial stage of getting the automation set up is kind of a bit of a, a challenge, but I think we have it set up now. So I just need to connect this tube here. So we can shift or just middle click on that. Why is that not connecting? I need that to connect. That's a steam pipe. Why is that not doing it? Weird. Okay, let's try it this other way. So we need steam. Select that. What in the world? Why is that not connecting? That's weird. It's a copper pipe that should connect. Okay, well, let's go to the actual machine. And maybe we'll just connect it from this thing oh man i blocked myself yep. with this conveyor belt a little bridge right here also starting to get attacked down here quite a bit by little goblin dudes so i have this guy right here these dudes were creating mining some ore so we can stop these let's go ahead and empty them out and i should be able to just go ahead and delete these guys like that and then let's go ahead and get the copper we need to connect it to there it is <laughs> uh thing so giant all right we need to connect it to there and then run it i guess kind of like i'm just gonna run it however it wants to run here it's a little weird so let's do this kind of straighten it out and we'll come like there i guess and make it go gosh come on i need to get over this thing so we'll just make it run right next to there and so that doesn't crap let's select it gotta reconnect it hit the wrong key so see how it's highlighted right there we have to make sure it maintains that but I thought there was a, like a shift or control would make a straight line. Alt did it, apparently not. So it doesn't do that. I don't, I'm trying to get to not be wonky. I don't know if that's possible. 
can come down here, like connect it there. Oh, see, now that's highlighted right there. How weird. Okay. So we'll just flick it that way, and then we should be able to connect it to there. Okay, so now that's connected. That is weird. And so now this thing should start sending some iron ore. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now we can actually see that the iron is coming to us now. So hot diggity. Okay. Well, we'll probably need to put a splitter down here, right there. So how do we, can we snap one of these in the line? I don't think that's snapping. I was hoping that we could snap that in right there, but I don't think that's going to work. So I'm just going to put it like that. And then we're going to have to delete that line. Okay, and then I should be able to click it, snap it to there, snap it to there, snap it to there. Okay, good. All right, so now that should continue, right? Yeah, there we go. And then I can run, if we have enough pressure, highlight that, run that over to here. Okay, so that's going to power that thing up. And now we have coal, so I can, if I have enough ingots, we can connect the coal and run it up to the top. Let's see, let's run it like there, I guess. Really not a good way to run these things, but it is nice that they kind of cut through the ground. So we're just gonna run it kind of like that. <laughs> and we'll make another storage container. I don't know if these are stackable, be nice. So, okay, there they are not stackable. All right, that's for coal. We're just gonna put it right next to this guy. Yes. Gosh, I'm running out of room. Okay, right there. Jeez. Yep. This is why I'm saying I'm gonna build a second floor for these things. All right, so that is yep. the gonna yep. be the coal. So now we can. Select that, and where is it? Right there. And then let's run the coal over to, I guess, it's going to go kind of Willy Wonka like that, and then up to there. Okay, so yeah, look at that. So now we have coal coming in. So that is awesome. So we have a good supply of coal, and now I can just actually come here where it's being stored. See, we're having all the iron, and then we can process all the iron over here manually for now. And so we can do that, get this going to make lots of ingots and gears and all that good stuff. And then this one will deliver coal to us. So look at that, we're getting coal coming in. Now we don't need that little mine thing down there. So we can go grab that, get our resources back from there. So see what we're doing, doing good. And so now that little guy, we can delete that, grab the resources. Let's, can we copy this guy? And we have enough map on over here. Looks like we might. Now, which way do I want to put this? Can I put it like that? I don't know if it's just going to dig into the ground. I guess we can do it like that. Okay, so that is there, and then we should be able to connect one of these to there, yep. and run it into wherever it's, it's got snap yep. into the drill somewhere. Yeah, there it is, right there. Okay, so now that is running. So we have all the resources from that, and then we can click on here. Let's highlight that, and then we're going to run a conveyor belt out of there up to the top. Okay, so somebody coming after us. Let's go like this, and snap it to there, and run up the top. And I don't know where else to run this thing. We're just going to cross, cross the lines here, and then get this to come up over to here like that okay so that's going to deliver copper to us now 
So I kind of actually want to, I'm just going to delete that. And then let's copy that over to here. Um, okay, copy that one. Let's put it right there, right there. Okay, and let's see, should I, we kind of need the room over here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. Oh, it's, I guess we have to empty it. Okay, so transfer components, com <laughs> contents to your inventory. No, all contents. Deposit that. Why is that not? Did it transfer? Where did it go? I got one coin. Where'd the rest of it go? Oh, it went over there. Oh, weird. Okay, so now we can delete that. And then we can copy that, put it right there. Okay, that was strange. So we can put that in here, deposit everything. Good. Okay, so now we can copy this thing. So we're just going to copy that. And I need more wood, right? Oh no, it's come out a little bit. They're going in the right direction. Yeah. Come over here to there, right there. And we're gonna copy that guy and snap it into there. So now we have three containers. We have coal, iron, and copper coming in. So look how much iron we have. We're loaded up on iron and we're loaded up on coal. And now, oops, now we're starting to get copper coming in. So we'll use the copper. So what we're gonna do is connect this to a thing that will smelt it automatically so we have an auto smelter so i don't know why i keep hitting the wrong key let's go to the smelting thing so right there is the smelter so no no wait okay we have a crusher and a smelter so we need to smelt the copper god dang that's huge this is why i'm going to put it on the same floor what the heck oh <laughs> I walked backwards onto that thing. I was like, why am I going side, going around? So we'll do the smelter. So basically the idea will be we'll take the copper, run it through the smelter, okay? And then from the smelter, we will send it to the, what is it called? Let's see, do I have it? I'm not sure if I actually have it. Let's look here. Not that thing, but this thing over here. Let's go over here. So I think we need to unlock it. But from you, I think once we get to, no, wait, where is it? The, where is it? Oh, uh, the vaults. Yeah, here it is, the auto market. Okay, so what the idea is, is we'll take the auto market, connect it to the smelter, and the smelter will be connected to this thing right here, and we'll basically automatically sell the copper. And so for every hundred copper, we'll get a, we'll get three thousand gold and and we can refine that further into other things that are more expensive but that way we'll run into the auto market thing and that will continually make us tons of money and we'll be able to upgrade to the further tiers because after tier three or four or whatever let's see where is it tier four and five i think five is two hundred fifty thousand, and then it just keeps getting more and more and then we need gems and things like that so we're gonna have to really figure that out. This guy down here needs some ammo. I can hear him ticking. Sounds like things so we'll put a hundred in there. Why is he firing down there? I don't quite understand why he's firing straight down. I, I put a tunnel down over here, but he's shooting something, but I don't know what the heck he's firing at. It's all over the place. And so I tried to dig a hole. And I think there is a like a oh, there's some iron. There's like a hole that goes straight down to Yeah, I think it's right there. He's firing down there somewhere. I'm not really sure what the heck he's doing. He's shooting at somebody. Kind of annoying though, because he's just wasting ammo. I mean we're not getting attacked by anything. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but he is shooting like crazy down there. 
So maybe I'll just be already out of ammo? I just put a hundred things in there. Let's see. Oh. oh my gosh, he's already out of ammo. Okay. That's weird. I guess what we'll do is leave that guy. <laughs> and we'll put him somewhere else. Put him up on top. And we'll put him down. Actually, we need to put it down below to protect our equipment down here. Because we'll start to get attacked by these guys here. So we go to the this thing. And we should be able to slap this guy kind of. We need it right there. And then maybe right here. And that should help protect us from any little goblin dudes that come in and try to attack our stuff. All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. This is kind of a long episode, so sorry about that, guys. But we had to do quite a bit of things to get to the first stage of automation. So I think in the next episode, we're going to refine this a little bit more. And then we're going to start taking on some of these larger outposts, orc main outposts over there. There's one right over there. And then there's a couple over in that area, too. So yeah, I kind of see it right there, and then there's a big one right there. So there's about three or four of them around our area that we need to clear out. That might help with our goblin problem <laughs> from underneath our base. And then we're going to start building our base upwards. So I want to tap into that large uh, stone rock, and we're going to mine the stone. We're going to put one of the auto miners on the stone and start breaking that down so that we have a continuous stream of rock or stone or whatever to build our base with so that will be very handy once we have that and then we can start really expanding and going we're going to go all the way down and then all the way up and make kind of like a half tower in the ground and half tower up in the sky so anyway with that i really appreciate you guys watching make sure you guys leave some comments below let me know what you think of the game and the progress so far let me know what you guys are doing in this game if you're playing it or not and with that i really appreciate it make sure you like and subscribe on the video and hit that little bell notification definitely helps me out when you subscribe or when you like the videos a lot so it lets the good old google algorithm know that i'm still doing these videos <laughs> so my channel kind of slowed down a little bit so i don't know what happened but anyway you guys hit that like button i really appreciate it and with that i will see you guys in the next video thanks a lot